Well, hello again, and thank you for tuning in for another episode. Uh, I'd like to thank you for the few comments I've had uh, by postcard and email and uh, online as well. Um, I thought before we go any further, I would just deal with a few of the questions that have been asked. Uh, there's been a question from two people, from a Dr. Godwin and from Mr. Viney of Dorset, who are asking why I wear headphones. Uh, and what I would say to them is if you listen to the first uh, video uh, on this site, it explains exactly why I'm wearing headphones and um, I expect answers on a postcard, uh, please. Uh, I'd also like to thank uh, Dr. Wareham of Bristol for his uh, comment that I shouldn't give up the day job. Uh, Dr. Wareham, I'm well aware I shouldn't give up the day job, uh, so this is um, definitely the evening job. And the other comment I've had is from a Mrs. Viney of Dorset who says, it's all very nice, but can you play something loud? So I'm going to today play some loud pieces of music. Um, and of course, what organs can do is go from being very quiet uh, to being very loud. Uh, and one makes a quiet sound by having very few stops, very few ranks of pipes selected. And those pipes will be relatively quiet pipes, or soft uh, sounds. And if you want to have a very loud uh, sound, you then select lots of pipes, particularly lots of ranks of pipes, particularly the ones that are a, a, bit, a bit louder. Um, and in that sense, playing loud on an organ is no harder than playing, uh, playing softly or playing quietly. Um, I think personally, the, the trick with playing loudly on an organ is to make it elegant, and that's substantially harder. And um, I can leave you to be the judge of whether I'm successful in that or not. Um, so the two bits I'm going to uh, play today, uh, one is Modern by Jeanne Demisou, and you've heard some music from her before if you've been watching these other broadcasts. And then uh, the other piece is by uh, Vincent Lubeck, uh, which is a, an, an older piece. So we'll start, first of all, with the, the piece by uh, Jeanne Demisou. Uh, the piece is called uh, uh, 2S Petra, Petrus, excuse me, so uh, you are Peter. Um, so a religious piece. And... Um, I don't know what it is about. My guess, because it is a loud piece of music, is that um, it's something to do with um, Peter, you're the rock on which the church is built. Uh, it says in the Bible somewhere, so it's a big, solid um, music that's trying to give some sound of foundations. That's my guess. No idea whether I'm right or not, and of course somebody, I'm sure, will correct me. And um, it's quite a short piece, and Demisou gives the registration that we should use for this, and it says for the... Uh, for, the, for, for the two manuals, it says the first manual, 2T, everything. For the second manual, 2T, plus manual 2 to manual 1. So we've got, in theory, all the pipes from the two manuals put together onto one keyboard, um, which is therefore why it's loud. And then the pedals say 2T without heavy reeds. And the heavy reeds mean our reeds are a, a class of stop. Uh, where the, instead of having a, a reed made of reed, uh, the reed is made of metal. So these are imitating or, or analogous to um, uh, reed, reed style instruments, but they can be very loud and very piercing sounds. And so um, we'll play with some reeds in the pedals as well, but we haven't got any particularly loud ones on this instrument. Um, in the organ that this was probably written for, the pedals would have gone down to a, a 32 a foot pitch. Uh, this instrument only goes down to the 16 foot pitch, so the full depth and resonance uh, of the original instrument won't be here. And what this, this the music is relatively simple, and it's quite a, quite a simple tune. But then there are these large chords where you get this full volume, this power of the organ. And as when I was learning to play this, my teacher said, "What you need is a wall of sound." Um, so you can see whether we achieve that. Um, that piece. The second piece of music is by uh, Vincent Lubeck, uh, who was born in 1654 and died in 1740. And um, so this is much earlier style uh, of, of music. Uh, and it's from the, he's got a prelude and fugue in F, and I'm just going to play, play, play the prelude. Um, and this has a rather, not particularly loud, but quite a lively registration. So in the in the hands, we'll have a, a standard stops through to mixtures, so the bright, bright sparkly sounds. And the pedals, and the piece opens with uh, the passage of music with, with pedals only, has quite a, quite a substantial pedal line, uh, and we'll also have some reeds in there. I'm playing it probably a bit heavily in the pedals, a bit loudly in the pedals, but um, this is responding to Mrs. Viney of Dorset, who wants something loud. And I think it works quite nicely um, as well. Um, so I hope you enjoy these uh, two pieces of music. Um, and of course, the health warning is before Please, please, please don't listen to this uh, 
um, using the speakers in your um, laptop um, or um, so use some decent headphones or some proper hi-fi to get um, a decent uh, version of what I can hear particularly because these are loud pieces of music so you want to get a, a decent um, replication of that music of course the better thing to do is to listen to a proper recording um, if you can find these in due course anyway I hope you enjoy this and I look forward to seeing you next time and thanks very much for watching bye bye